here. Okay, let me just explain it very simply because this is an important thing. This is a big question that's going to answer many people's questions today. This is what Kundalini is. When, if you don't know how to work your water principle, you start burning with fire. This first starts as a passion, right? You got a lot of passion, a lot of will. Then it seems to get a sexual nature to it. Then that sexual nature then deviates if not, bur if it, if not doused out. Not, you're not putting out your fire, but you need to contain your fire. And so again, then the person will deviate and then they generally blend their sexes then. And this is what you see going on in, in the industry, especially when they invert the Kundalini. Then the sexes are blend. So the person is basically an external androgen, which is Baphomet. And it's because you, you externalize Kundalini. If you internalize Kundalini, the two nadis, the fire and the water, actually figure out the balance and they both move up the spine and down the spine. And these are just the energetic centers, whatever person wants to call them, snakes or not. And then why there is so much uh, bad press on it, Kundalini, serpents, etc., is for obvious reasons. Once you amplify your energy, if the person doesn't stay in balance, look out. And this is what you're seeing in the industry. That's why there's so much talent there. Like you get folks remembering lines and acting with four or five movies and there's some real talent there. You can't deny it. But that talent is from degrees of the fire to beings that don't even understand the water principle much. And the water principle is, of course, when's the last time that you actually cried? This is how you'll notice if the organism is getting itself too deep into a fire shell, which is a seed. Seed is a fire shell. And so they won't cry and they're kind of impenetrable to anything that has to do with real compassion. Now they have this fire seed, but somebody's got to make it rain. And you've got to put some water on it. And so that's where the lunar cycles and things like that, the height of the full moon, those kind of uh, the cold water, the cold salt water, all those kind of principles putting, it's just alchemical. You, alchemical. you could douse the body with cold salt water and let it lay in that even much as it hates it. A Kundalini activated body doesn't like cold water. But what you're doing then is just like you're putting the uranium fuel rods into the cold water so that they can cool down before you go Fukushima on these folks. Because remember, when you're, when you're also practicing energy principles, that's the soul, right? And then that's also connected with the body. But what are you putting in your mind? <laughs> because if you put it in one of these, you know, the, you're talking about a Hashashin dueler? Like the Moorish Empire for what it really was from Ben Saba, the son of seven? I mean, <laughs> what kind of research? I would, you know, I would have to dive through the whole thing because the lure is rich. It's just as thick as it, it's just as thick and as embroidered as the most expensive Persian rug. This culture, but every single turn is yet another deeper path down on the zigzag of the matrixes that are built and still running and still under control by Sol Tan. So that's why I was saying, see, now we got this point where we can be so innovative, we could do like a quantum leap, boom, and leave a sonic boom and a couple other boom, boom. And then bring a whole new world where it just shines like a light, like what the original, uh, 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 the original pyramids looked like a light in the distance. You're like, man, we got to get there. What is that? That's the city that you probably projected with your mind once you escape the catacombs in the nether worlds. <laughs> you see what I mean? It's, but don't mistake this as something else because it's two. It's the, it's the devocanic planes that works on duality. All the bodies are built symmetrically with one interchanging principle in the center that barely functions most of the time. So see it as it is. And then if you want to progress further within this, understand you're, you're in. You're in. But if you're out, then that means to desist from all this and to start really loading. It's an illusion, which it is. And then that way, clearing up your path so that when you pass out of this body, then there's nothing that, that's going to thrust you back into the incarnation because you want to do something over again.